Welcome back into Wisconsin Women. If you're just tuning in, we are having a comfy time here at Monroe Furniture <laughs> Center. Took a nice little drive to Monroe, and of course we're here with Melissa yeah. Even, the Monroe Chamber of Commerce Director. We have all kinds of things to talk about with Jerry later in the program, but first we're introducing you to some Monroe organizations, and the one we have next on our docket is Vitality Youth Services. This is Christy Schindler, and we're so glad to have you so we can learn a little bit more about what's going on. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So lots happening, in fact. <laughs> new business, new services. Let's talk about the services that you have. Sure. Uh, so we just opened August 31st. Um, we are in the old Fireside Bookstore and our um, services is for youth ages 3 to 18. We work with um, some programs out of the county. We work with Green County, Lafayette and Rock County and mostly working with like respite care, daily living skills, um, support of home care, community integration. Um, and just helping families become families again. Yeah, that's wonderful work you're doing. It, it sounds so meaningful and in, in all of that, how did you decide that this was the right fit for you? How did you start your business? So my business partner Ashley actually approached me um, to be on a board because it was going to be nonprofit. Um, and then after a lot of talking and et cetera, <laughs> um, became a business. Well, mm -hmm. we work together with NAMI uh, on the NAMI board here in Green County and we both worked with kiddos and we just knew there was a need. So next thing you know, we're planning a business. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are. <laughs> right. Yeah. And again, in the middle of pandemic, we've right. got ladies in Monroe starting it yes, up. That's awesome. I know. Yeah. But Who this knows? is important yeah. work that you're yeah. providing. And yeah. as you mentioned, letting families be families, getting them back to, you know, maybe a, a more workable scenario for them. Mm -hmm. And it takes you know, more than just you, it's going to take yeah, a staff right, of people yeah. to do this. Let's talk a little bit about who you have joining you on your show. Sure. Staff. So 11, which is two of us. So we have nine staff. Um, that includes like a couple case managers, a supervisor. Um, we have a couple respite workers and then what we call youth skill builders. And those mm -hmm. are the ones that we'll be working with the daily living skills okay. and the community integration. Wow. Lots of different specialists needed for this kind yeah. of work. Yes, they all have different backgrounds, experiences, degrees and certifications. Yeah. So we have a really good group yeah. of so true people. wraparound services yes. for all for all the needs. That's yes. amazing. Great. Yeah. Great. So please share your mission with us. So what what is at the core of why you're doing this? Sure. So a couple things. One, um, we just feel that rural areas just need more services and resources. Um, and so we also want to, like I said, help families be families. Again, we want to help nurture um, and encourage youth mm -hmm. um, to be self-sufficient and some have confidence again mm -hmm. and let families have a breather because <laughs> yeah. sometimes that's needed. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, uh, yeah as, as we've been saying, this is important work that you're doing and to give families a breather or a break or, or some more normalcy. Mm -hmm. And I hate to ask this question because you just opened mm -hmm. <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic, as <laughs> Melissa mentioned, but let's talk a little bit about the future and sure. what you envision for your business down the road. So, way down the road, no. <laughs> um, our, our future plans are already happening a little faster than we anticipated, but we want to be regional. We want to do uh, the southwest corner um, mm -hmm. of Wisconsin. I mean, Rock County is one of those surprise um, and working with them, but we want to eventually head to the southwest and have mm -hmm. a couple satellite offices like Lancaster, Platteville area, and then, I don't know, Mineral Point. Mm -hmm. um, my guess will be a couple year plan, but who knows, because things haven't on as planned in a good yeah. way. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> things have a way of snowballing when yes. you're passionate about what you do. Yeah. And you're obviously working to reach families and, and educate them, as mm -hmm. you're doing here today, on what how you can help them mm -hmm. and what kind of experience you bring to the table. I know you're still working on the website a little bit, but I do encourage people to head to the website, vitalityyouth.org 
org, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. take a little bit of a look, I'll, I'll learn more about what they do there as things unfold. I imagine there'll be more inclusion, inclusions in the website of what yes. you're doing, working on projects that you have going on. So yes. thanks very much for being here with us today, Christy, and sharing what you're doing. Sure. We Thank you for it. having me. Yeah, you bet. We've got more Wisconsin Women coming up after the break, so please stick around. Mm -hmm.